Hey guys, I wanted to show you an easy trick to speed up your React applications. So if you're familiar with React, you know there's a couple ways to make a component. Here's one way. We're using a class, and this is just the basic create React app template, right? The application here. And they're just using extending a component, and this is a class component. But there's another way. You can create a function. So for example, Bob over here is a function and he can render some JSX like H1. Hi. Now there's a difference in how these two work or uh, this guy can't have this guy can't have lifecycle functions or state, right? So an app you have state and maybe component did mount and some functions that you need. But if you don't need those things, um, it's better to use just a function like this. But right now, if I were to render Bob like this, so there's a slight overhead in creating a component like this, like this class, uh, because it has to render, uh, create the object for the component. But under the hood right now, this guy right here does the same thing. There's still a slight overhead. And now this is something where I believe React wants to change in the future and optimize how these functions work. Now they're already optimized because they don't worry about state and stuff, um, but further optimize them and not have to create a uh, component. But I believe right now they're creating a component under the hood. So when I do this, um, there's a way to speed it up faster than just using a component like this. But I'm sure this is what you're used to using and you'll see me use this a lot, right? We can just treat this like a regular component, and let's say I wanted, you know, some text here. I can just pass the text in and render that like that. And so I could be like, text is equal to high. And this this all looks fine and good. But what you can do to speed this up is to actually, instead of rendering Bob as a JSX tag like that, you can just call him as a function. So I can be like Bob, and I can just pass parameters in because it's just a function, right? So I can say text is equal to high. Um, and so what this will do is it'll grab, it'll just call the function, right? And it'll return that. It'll just return the JSX. And so this is actually more perform performant uh, currently than what you just saw, this guy. So if you're having performance problems, give this a try and see if that helps speed up your React application. But here we are talking about uh, optimizing, and I have to show you guys a quote that I really like. And this is by Donald, I believe it's Nuth or Nuth, I don't know how to say his last name, but he says, premature optimization is the root of all evil, or at least most of it in programming. And I entirely agree with this. 99% uh, of the time, you don't need to optimize your code, and you don't need to optimize uh, this. Um, but it's definitely something to look at. and. For example, you, won't, you, you haven't seen me doing this, and the reason for that is uh, a lot of times it doesn't matter. Like the speed increase, um, unless I'm working on something that's really performance intensive, if it's 5, 10% slower, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and another reason I would just use this version right now is what happens if I want to change Bob into a class? Right? Okay, I need to use state and Bob now, I'm going to turn into a class. So everywhere I use Bob now, I have to change it from a function back to a component. Um, so basically, I'm not even using this right now, but it's something to look at if you need to increase performance. And uh, But this is something I actually think about a lot because I am definitely prone to over-optimizing. That's one of my biggest weaknesses, I think, in programming. It's I'll spend way too much time optimizing things that don't matter at all. And uh, I am sure some of you are like this too, and I... I think about this a lot and I really try not to uh, get too up into optimization until it matters, right? So until there's problems with performance, until it's noticeably laggy, noticeably things are going wrong, um, then it's time to look into it and improve it. But uh, this is something I've been learning instead of just perfecting and tuning one thing into perfect move on to other things, get everything working together, and decent optimization, right? You're not just making slow code, but get it to a point where it's good, but not as fast. Maybe you're not making it as fast as it could be um, because it takes longer to do that. 
And so using your time so you're not just optimizing everything. Very important. Um, and this is something to keep in mind when thinking about whether to use these two methods. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that was something you can try out in your application, see if that speeds it up for you. Personally, I've actually never ever even had to use this because I've never had performance problems with React so far. Um, but I have heard it's supposed to speed it up and uh, make sense because this guy's creating a, uh, there's a little extra overhead in him compared to this guy. But again, check React. Um, Google this. See, um, at the time you're watching this, it might have changed. React might have made some changes that uh, change whether or not this affects things. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.